Hello and welcome to lesson 64 in the creation of our school management system using Microsoft Excel and Word VBA with the Jefferson IT Service Academy. In lesson 63, we were able to try our student user form by inserting details of a newly admitted student into the system and we were able to save our details that we were able to save the details of the newly admitted student into our database without facing any challenge so we have the admission number here the student name the class the gender the date of birth the date of admission here and we also have the admission fee the guardian name we also have the address of the guardian and then finally the contact the contact we just entered some random numbers so if you are doing it please make sure that you enter the correct details so when we click on reset the button here the reset button should be able to reset the user form for us when we click on save we should be able to add when we click on close we should be able to close this user form here when we click on search we should be able to search for the details of a particular student by the admission number when we click on update we should be able to update the details of our students in the student database system so in this lesson we are just going to continue and insert the codes that will help the teachers user form to function effectively without any challenge so if you are new to the channel please make sure that you subscribe to the channel make sure that you turn on the notification bell icon for all make sure that you share this video with your friends to also benefit from us please if you face any challenge with the code you face challenges with the codes that we are using in this lesson please don't hesitate to whatsapp the numbers appearing on your screens so without wasting much time let's just get started so let's click on close here to close the user form then we open the teachers details sheet here before we start inserting the codes we need to do something here we need to assign a macro to this particular button here the add button here we need to assign a macro to the add button so let's come to developer tab here then we go to visual basic here then we come to view then we click on project explorer so here we have model one and model seven we want to insert another model that can help us to link the teacher's user form to the teacher's details table to the add button on the teacher's details table so what we are going to do is that we are going to click on insert here then we select model okay so what do we want to do we want to call the user form to that is the teacher's user form we want to call it we want to uh, activate that particular sheet there so let's come to model one here let's come to model one we have the code here so sub user form one then your open and close parenthesis then we have user form one dot show here so we are just going to change the name we are going to change the one and write two there so that when we call it the user form two can be able to respond so control c here to copy then we go to view so let's go to project explorer then we open the model 2 so let's control v to paste the code there so let's change the one to two we are now dealing with user form two so clear the one there and replace it with two good so we have our model here successfully so let's click on run here and let's see what is going to happen so it is going to bring the teachers user form here for us okay so let's just close it and come to the add button here so let's right click on the add button then you click on assign macro then we select user form 2 u form 2 here then we click on okay good so let's try to run it and let's see what is going to happen so immediately we click on add we should be able to see this teacher's user form here the teacher's user form must appear here so that is how we assign macros to buttons inside the school management system all right so let's just clear everything here 
let's clear everything in the system here before we continue the lesson all right so you just right click like this then select clear content so let's proceed and go to developer tab here go to visual basic we want to start inserting the various codes into the teacher's user form here double tap on one of the the test boxes there so let's go to our folder where we have our codes for the teacher's user form so let's select teacher's user form here open it then let's open add and save code add and save code so you double tap on it to open it like this so this is the add and save code so control a to select everything control c to copy then we go to the visual basic then control v to paste like that if you don't want to do it that way too you you select everything again like this control a then control x to cut then we come to view here like this then project explorer then user form 2 okay so let's assign that code to the add and save button here so let's double tap on the add and save button like this good so between these subs here you only have to paste your code there so control v to paste so let's check it well before we proceed to the next one good 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 so we have it here without any challenge let's go to the bottom two and check something so we need to clear one of the n subs let's clear one of the n subs here like this then we go to the top let's go to the top to clear one of the n subs again so let's clear the first one there then we are good to go so let's go back to our folder again to copy another code let's go to the folder to copy another code so this is the folder here the file explorer then let's go to add photo codes so you select that one make sure that you copy everything then control c control v to paste you use control c to copy then control v to paste so let's go to the visual basic again like this then we paste that code to all we go to view then we select file explorer then user form 2 then add photo so you double tap to open that particular uh, section then control v to paste your add photo code there so we have that one two there now let's continue and insert another code so just press enter then we go to the next one that is going to be the close code so let's open it then we copy everything from here control c to copy then we come to the visual basic we go to view file explorer or project explorer then we come to the bottom is the close code so double tap to open it then control v to paste so let's clear one of these here clear one of them then we position them then nicely then the end sub let's clear one like that so we have the close code to up and running there so we are moving to the next thing we are moving to the next code that is going to be the combo box one so let's double tap on it to copy everything here like this control c to copy then let's go to visual basic then control v to paste control c to copy then control v to paste then the next one that we are going to work on is the combo box 2 so control a to select everything control c to copy then we go to visual basic here then control v to paste like that so we hit enter the next one that we are going to do is going to be combo box 3 so let's double tap to open it control a to select everything 
Control C to copy. Then we go to Visual Basic. Press Enter. Control V to paste. So we are done with that one too. The next one that we are going to do is Combo Box 4. So Control A to select everything. Control C to copy. Then we go to Visual Basic again. Control V to paste okay 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 what is happening what is happening there let's see what is happening there let's see what is happening there okay so let's try to clear that particular code and insert it again and let's see what is going to happen okay so let's press enter then we control v to paste that code the test box four so we have it up and running the test box four we have it here so the next one that we are going to work on is going to be the list box one it's going to be list box one so let's double tap to open it then control a to select everything control c to copy then we go to visual basic here then control v to paste so we have our list box one codes up and running there so let's just press enter and go to the next one that is going to be the reset code that is going to be the reset code so let's select from unload me to user form two dot show so control c to copy now in this case we are going to view so click on view then let's come to project explorer then user form 2 we are working on the reset code so double tap on the reset button then inside the private sub here you control v to paste so user form 2 dot show and load me good so let's move to the next one the next code that we are going to insert is going to be the search code so let's double tap then we copy from here cmd add to the next y cmd add to the next y so control c to copy then we go to the search button so how are we going to locate the search button let's go to view let's come to project explorer let's go to user form 2 because we are working on the user form 2 that is the teacher's user form so let's double tap on the search button here then inside the private sub here we control v to paste our code there all right so let's continue the next one that we are going to work on is going to be the test box 15 so let's double tap to open it control a to select everything control c to copy then we go to visual basic here then we paste our code so control v to paste your code then the next one that we are going to work on the next code that we are going to work on is going to be the test box 2 test box 2 so let's control a to select everything control c to copy then we come to the down here control v to paste so we have our test box two codes up and running there then we move to test box 16 test box 16 codes so control a to select everything control c to copy then we move to the bottom here then control v to paste our code so we have the test box 16 codes also up and running there the next one that we are going to work on is going to be the test box 20 so control a to select everything control c to copy then we paste the test box codes at the bottom here control v here to paste so we have the test box 20 codes also up and running here without any challenge so let's move to the next one the next code that we are going to insert is going to be the test box 21 code so select everything here by using ctrl a 
then control c to copy then straight to visual basic then control v to paste the text box 21 codes there without any problem all right so let's move to the next line of code that we are going to insert that is going to be the text box 22 so control a to select everything control c to copy then we come to the visual basic yes so control v to paste good we are moving forward the next one that we are going to do is going to be the update code the update code so let's select from dim x as long here then we move to reset here call cmd reset underscore click so let's copy here then we go to uh visual basic then we go to view then we go to project explorer then we go to user form 2 the code that we want to insert is reset code it's reset code reset code okay so we have already insected that particular code here so let's go back and check something let's go back and check something here sorry we are working on the update code we are working on the update code so let's go to view here then file explorer or project explorer then let's check out for update so let's double tap on it then inside the private subs here control v to paste your code there good so let's move to the next thing let's move to the next thing we are going to insert another code again we are going to insert another line of code again and that is going to be the last code for the teacher's user form so let's just select everything here like this then control c to copy then we go to visual basic then at the bottom control v to paste so we have the teacher's user form code also up and running here so we would like to end this lesson here and continue in lesson 65 so thank you very much for watching this video make sure that you share it with your friends make sure that you send your comments make sure that you whatsapp us in case you face any challenge in setting the codes make sure that you call us make sure that you alert us in case you face any challenge don't hesitate to drop your comments in the comment section so let's meet in lesson 65 bye bye